hi guys in today's video i'm going to share with you five simple tricks that will really save your time when mixing in cubase so without wasting much of your time let's get into the video <laughs> Hi, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube. I post new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a brand new video. Just a reminder, you can download the vocal mixing templates for Cubase 5, Cubase 10.5, and FL Studio. Follow the links in the description. The first trick I'm going to talk about is tool selection. Usually when selecting a tool, either for cutting or deleting a vocal sample we go to the two bar somewhere on top but the faster way to do this is by simply right clicking and this two bar will load wherever your pointer is and you can choose your tool from there and this will save you lots of time the second trick is the vertical locator which simply shows where playback should start when mixing, we usually go back and forth on the same segment of a vocal sample. So it really saves time if the locator goes back to its starting position every time you stop playback. How you do this is by going to File, select Preferences, then scroll down to Locator. And on the right, click Return to Start Position and Stop. This will make your locator return to its start position every time you stop playback. So simply apply and click OK. The third trick is why you need to bounce your vocals. Bouncing your vocal samples reduces on the number of files in your project folder. Bouncing your vocals can be done by highlighting the vocal samples you wish to join, then go to the top left, click on audio, then bounce selection. This will join the highlighted vocals together. The fourth trick is removing unused media file. Simply click media, then open pool, go to audio, right click and select remove unused media. This also reduces on the number of vocals in your project folder. The last trick is vary audio. Cubase allows you to control the pitch of your vocal sample manually. To do this, double click on your vocal sample. To your left, click vary audio, then click the small arrow on pitch and warp. So from here you can edit vocal pitch. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and see you in my next video.